All right, for today's video, I will be installing the harness seat belt onto my harness bar, or should I say, roller coaster bar. All right, stay tuned. All right, so what we have here is the four point harness seat belt. Also, the uh, two inch three bar slide adjusters, I got four here shown. Also, the seat belt harness clip and seat belt clip. So, for the four point harness, there's basically four different parts. Why the reason they call it a four point? This will be over the shoulders, and then this is the lap belt. So, for the lap belt, I'll be installing this here onto this latch. It's a little difficult to see. But there's a latch here that's part of the seat belt when I connected the harness bar a few months back. So it'll clip on to that. And then this section, that's where I'll be installing this part. So I will be cutting this section off so I can put this in there. Then the buckle itself here. I will be cutting it off here as well and then attaching this so once that's attached to the belt it'll just automatically clip on here so it's an example all right so nice and sturdy so that's gonna be locked on there so then this part will connect to here Quick example. Okay, so then that would complete the lap belt. And then I would hook up the harness section for the shoulders there onto the harness bar. So let's get this started. Right, so we're gonna cut this area off and then install it onto this. So let's do that first. So with this part and one of the straps, you would go starting from the top there and then to the bottom. Now with this, uh, if you remember, I cut it. So it's starting to get all the strands here. So what you can do is, of course, get a clean cut first. Then you can use some type of lighter. You kind of just melt it. Okay, just let it dry. Um, see, it hardens. So now it's nice and clean. So to continue, we get this part here and we attach it here. And once you get that part underneath this, we want to feed it. So kind of get some little excess. So we have some space there, but then underneath we go under here. And then loop it back up. Okay. So once you get that, you could feed more of the strap in there. Kind of just yank on that. And there you go. Nice, tight, and secured. All right, so for that section that I just did all the straps, you can see here it has a little clip. So I just clip it onto there. Thank <laughs> you. 
its clip. So that's one side of the lap belt. All right, so for the other side of the lap belt, we're gonna also cut this and then install this and then connect this at the other end. So for starters, let's go ahead and cut the uh, harness. All right. And then with, with a lighter, we want to melt the uh, tip here. So once this is complete, you want to go ahead and add this. Go up there and there. Okay. Get the uh, that buckle. Fit it right through there. Right, there you go. It goes through there. Then you flip the belt. through here then through that hole pull it through all right and there you go tight secured and it connects right here there it is and that's your lap belt and of course you could adjust it so forth if need be I could uh, pull this more probably cut it more and then so it'll uh, shorten up the length there but pretty much that's uh, how it looks like so now with the harness that goes over the shoulder the uh, four-point harness I bought uh, it seems it's you know uh, has everything connected but it doesn't have the style I want to do to mount it on my harness bar. So we'll go ahead and cut uh, the section of this and then also install it properly. We want to cut off so it has uh, access so I can wrap it around the harness bar. So I'll cut it right here. So I won't be needing this. Actually, I need to have it removed from this bracket, so I need to put that this section out as well. So now it's just one long harness bar. And then, of course, we want to melt the tips there. And once we let that cool, then we'll uh, attach it to the harness bar. All right, so once you have this melted, you have that buckle on there. So this is how it's set up on the bar itself. So the bar's right here, it goes on top. You go underneath. Okay. Once you get that area there, you go towards the top. Okay. Of course you want everything to be tight as possible, but for the de demonstration purposes, I'm not making everything too tight. And then once you have that all the way up, you go back down here. And pretty much that's how it should be. Of course, you want to do some correct adjustments, make sure it's nice and snug in there. And then uh, once there's excess, we can like roll this and then zip tie it. But uh, that's pretty much how it should look like. And we'll just do it on the other side as well.
All right, so with the excess harness, uh, we, we want to roll it up. And after we roll it up, we'll zip tie the ends. So let's get that started. I just start at the end, start rolling it up. Okay, once I'm there, I get my zip tie, just feed it through. Okay, you can hide the uh, end piece if you want. All right, so that's one. And we also do it on the other side. the excess on this side as well all right so that's pretty much how it'll look like all right so now we're gonna do some adjustments to make sure everything fits fine so I grabbed the end here for the lap belt I connect it here Get the uh, shoulder belt. Okay. Connect it here. The other side. All right, there you go. So in regards to the lap, it's pretty secured, but for the shoulder, Adjustments. All right, I think that's pretty tight. Now, of course, uh, probably the reason to have all this harness and harness belt is wearing a helmet as well. So when I have a helmet, I'll probably be leaning a little forward that way, so it's more secured. And uh, you know, driving on that track, swerving left to the right. Nice and secured. Woo! But now also remember for extra safety is you do want to use a hands um, safety harness and that's H-A-N-S. Damn, check him out. Oh, snaps. You know he's going to feel that in the morning. Damn, son. This hurts. All right, homie right here though. Check it out. Ooh, support that neck, buddy. Dang, he might feel it in the morning, but not as bad as the other homie. Yeesh. All right, so uh, to remove everything, of course, we just lift this lever up. It unlocks three of the belts. It does stay in this last one there. And pretty much it's free. But now, uh, for any reason, I don't want to use any of this harness belt. I can de detach it very simply as you recall I did put the uh, safety buckle right there see so I just unlatch it like a normal seat belt so that's removed and then on this end if you remember it's also a type of clip so it's very easy to remove I just push my seat up a little bit find that latch That's the latch I'm talking about. So there you go. You just remove those lap belts. And then for the shoulder belt, you could just push it back if you want to. All right. And then and I'll just use my normal seat belt again. Let me go back in. And there it is. Less than a minute got my original seatbelt back on so that completes the installation of the harness belt onto the harness bar fairly simple and I like the uh, ease of removing the lap belt where if I want to use the original OEM seatbelt uh, for you know normal driving daily driving much easier 
But if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment or a question down below or send me a DM on Instagram. But for now, keep smiling, be safe, and always stay driven. Peace.